The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Obvious winter storm warning going on right now, so be careful wherever you're going. A traffic update in a second, but obviously uh, a lot of accidents just littered across the area. And uh, damn, I didn't expect the winds to be this bad in this winter storm warning. It's really 40 mile an hour gust at O'Hare. O'Hare is a disaster. Listeners that work out there just checking in with some pictures. Um, it is rough if you have a flight. My brother's flying back from Arizona today. What an idiot. I said, stay out there for another five more days. What are you, do- what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> but um, if you're trying to go anywhere, including on Metra, there's some power lines down stopping some of the lines. Just make sure you check everything if you're going somewhere and using even public transportation. Uh, we'll get to all that in a second. But I did say this is the headline of the day. So we go through all our stories, myself, Brian, Kenzie, in case the producer, every night turn in things we want to talk about on the show the next day. And then we have other just news organizations that I go through in the morning to look at headlines and kind of see what we could talk about that maybe we didn't find ourselves. I got to say, none of us found this story last night. So I thought I'd just... Well, did it get published this morning? Uh, I don't know, but okay. e- either way... Just it's, throw it, that out there. It's, it's the very, potential. very important and urgent that we should have gotten this in one of our preps. We should have dug deep and found this story. And the headline, Kenzie, of the day is mm. this one right here. 99% of Americans have a local Mexican restaurant. That's the headline Wait, of the what? story. Okay, 99% <laughs> of Americans... Have a local Mexican I restaurant. I think you said own one. I go, I don't think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that that's an accurate <laughs> Look to your left. Look to your right. You both own Mexican restaurants. I'm like, I don't think that's correct. I got to be honest. I mean, I'm going through stuff, you know, like winter storm warning and everything that's going on in the wild card weekend, all the football games, all the data analysis and everything. And I see this headline just 99% of Americans have a local Mexican restaurant. How Does is- that mean like, okay, what is <laughs> So what that means is everybody has a local Mexican restaurant that's near their house. Basically, that's what it means. This this is a news story, Kenzie, that came out a headline that just made me laugh furiously by myself this morning when I got in first. What news source is it from? Oh, it's just from, like, you know, what is it? Root Reuters, the, the news service, AP Newswires, just came in here to have a story. Reuters? Is like, it Reuters? It's Reuters. Yeah, Reuters? The, the, the news service. One of the big news services out there. I've never heard of Reuters. I'm going to do a little Google search for that for you. How do you think you spell Reuters? I I would spell hemorrhoids without (laughs) (laughs) H-E-M. All right, so here's the story at the base of the story. 99% of Americans have a local Mexican restaurant within their county. Overall, 85% of U.S. counties have a Mexican place, and 11% of the restaurants nationwide serve Mexican food. This is a news story. It came from Pew Research Center. Was it Center. to go to other countries like so they could realize like that we have a variety of foods or something? I, I have no idea. I think they were trying to say that it's gotten to a point now where when you go over someone's house, t- to actually take credit to this story a little bit, and they say, oh, so, you know, maybe you're in a, in a like, let's say you're in Schaumburg or Naperville. You don't go out there very often, and you're stopping your friend's house and say, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to get some food. There's a great Mexican place right around the corner. You know what I mean? There's a great Mexican restaurant. How many times do your friends say that about, like, there's, oh, I got a great Mexican restaurant right around the corner. I was in Kansas City at Thanksgiving to go eat barbecue every meal. And my buddy on Sunday goes, oh, we got a great Mexican restaurant right around the corner. We should go. And I, I, great. And I, wanted, great to, I wanted to say no because I just wanted barbecue there. But I went, and it was really good Mexican food. Everybody's got wants to brag about their Mexican restaurant that they have in their like neighborhood. I know. But okay, but... If you somebody gives you a genre of food, okay, yep, so Italian, Mexican slash Latin, right? Because right. like, you know, like you could have like a good Cuban spot or something. Sure. Um, let's see, like like Asian of some sort. Some people are more Japanese or Chinese focused, so like an Asian or Thai, right? So like an Asian cuisine of some sort. Don't you have one? Don't you have a place for all of that? Yes. Now in my neighborhood, I have multiple, multiple. Of Mexican restaurants I would choose from. I don't have the one that I say we have to go to. Now, I would say Cafe El Tapatio, if we're going, that's where I'm going. No, on no, no. So I don't see, I think you're wrong. I think this is what the stat is saying. I think that we all have multiple choices. I think that they're just saying everyone's got like their go to. Well, what they're saying is that it's that Mexican restaurants have permeated every person in the country pretty much at this point. But to your point, there might not be a good sushi place around the corner from you. Do you guys ever watch The Three Amigos? I've seen the movie. You know, Chevy Chase is like, do you have anything besides Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> That's like all I can think about <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh my God. 
good. Like from your house, do you have the one Mexican restaurant spot? Is there the one? Yeah, you go my to? favorite. My favorite spot. There's a there's a bunch of places. Sure. I mean, I live in Elgin, baby. Okay, we yep. got the foods. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but my my number one Mexican restaurant in Elgin, and honestly, so many places like I would put up against this is Carmina's. Carmina's it is kick ass food. It is so good and it's huge. I showed up with 18 people because of my baby shower. So like the night before, like we had like 18 guests at our house. Basically, we we needed to go to a restaurant, and I'm like, oh god. And think about Chicago. Think about how hard it is sometimes to get into it. Like a, you have to fit into like a table for two because it's like all pushed together. Sure. I'm like 18 people. We'll just go to Carmina's, and we called on the way there, and I'm like, hey, are you guys good for 18 people? They're like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like it's huge. It's just so big, and it's but it's the best food. That's awesome. And that's the number one. Like I said, my number one is Cafe El Tapatio on Ashland. I've been to several places in Pilsen, which I know. Listen, Pilsen has has. I don't, see. I don't stuff. know if Case would have one though, well, because Case. Case gives off Ben Stiller and Along Came Polly vibes where he would just break out in sweats <laughs> if he was at, like, a Mexican restaurant or anything else. Anything that wasn't, like, a cheeseburger energy. So I just, I don't know if he would have that. Honestly, I don't know because I've never heard him say I had some really good Mexican food last night. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just saying I don't recall ever hearing that He's case. He's kind of like an all-American bistro type. <laughs> So okay, can, well, I'm in the room. Do you guys want to ask me if I have a Mexican restaurant? So he's kind of, are you saying he's a dino? Are you going over, <laughs> do you think he has one, Brian? Because I don't. I don't. I think he, you're saying he's a dino nuggets kind of guy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think. Kraft mac and cheese. I'll say I don't think he has a number one a Mexican restaurant in his name that he goes to. I, but I'm not saying that's mean. I'm just saying and he doesn't have he it. And if he does, you know what it would be? Uh, it would be Chipotle. Bell. It would oh, be Taco okay. Bell. Because they have like Baja Blast and all those Mountain Dew things going on. Facts, facts. All right, Case, go ahead. Tell answer, us. answer the question, Case. I don't have a local Mexican spot. I can't I handle the heat. That's unbelievable. I and knew it. Factual. Well, we know and our boy. And if you were going to eat Mexican, would you go to Taco Bell? Anywhere I can get a quesadilla with sour cream. Even See? that cheese can be kicking sometimes. Yeah, but also that Mountain Dew she talks about, the Baja Blast, which, okay. by the way, those are now going to be available in stores. Hey, Brian, I know. I, I know get the you newsletter. Know. I know you know. But for, for years, that was had to... Uh, it was take, a Taco Bell exclusive. Take a Taco Bell trip to go get <laughs> oh it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay over there, Kinsey? <laughs> oh, my God. I just knew that you wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just so spicy. I, like, pick up the guy. I'm like, oh, my God. No, I, I don't want to die today. <laughs> no, thank you. Case is like, are these red onions? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord, are you trying to kill me? The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Winter storm warning in full effect. Obviously, we'll keep updating you. Um, you know, as as it lightens up, I believe the snow is supposed to kind of lighten up and then pick up again later on, but it could be uh, a foot plus in Kenzie's area, in the Elgin area, the northwest oh, burbs. Sure. It says by tomorrow, let's say by the time the whole event's over, and then four to eight inches in the west and southwest burbs and over in Indiana. And so, same in the city, they're just saying this four to eight range all the way through Cook County. Um, so in that range, uh, I think it's going to be on the higher end at the, at, at the end of it because it's really still blowing real hard and coming down. It's so. hefty. And a lot of it, like I know that downtown was a little different, but in so many suburbs, like it's Tuesday, like we kept a layer of snow. So it's like now it's building on it. You know, like with the first snowfall, it melts when it hits the ground. It's yeah. all stay. Now, now it's all stackable, baby. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so. yeah, it's all stacking up. From Yuck. from the uh, the, the jerk off storm on Tuesday, as we call it from now on, it'll be known going forward. That crappy storm. I got a dilemma though today. I made a dentist appointment at 11 a.m. after the show, and I have to walk to it from the tower here. And they have a 48 hour. If you cancel policy, you got to pay 150 bucks. Holy crap! And I have insurance, so it's going to cover the cleaning. But you have a penalty of 150 that insurance won't cover. And I don't want to go now. Like I don't want. I don't want to go. I got to put a hat on and mess up my hair. Dental hygienist. I don't want to you do that. You have an inch of hair. Could you just settle down? It still gets messed up. The product. It's just no accident. You look, you're like a baby. Like you have like a baby's head. I like got, if you take off a little hat. I, was, I got n- nice, short, thick hair. It's short, but it's thick. It's you, luxurious. You roll it your, is not thick. You can put I'm your hand through it. I'm not trying to make it. you feel bad, but it's not thick. You can put your you hand through it. You can put your it. hand through any kind of hair. That doesn't. <laughs> put your hands like it's. But it, it'll, it'll feel good in your fingers. Will it? When you're going through my hair. <laughs> It'll feel breezy. If I put it there. 
So I don't know what, I mean, should I try to call and say, well, you know, winter storm warning. Huh, well, come the, on. You, well, here's the deal. Why the hell? I've been telling you about this storm all week, and you've been blowing me off, yeah. and now look at you. Because you could have canceled Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday when I was talking about this storm. Well, I thought it was just going to be the jerk-off storm again, oh. like two. <laughs> well, you $150 wrong idea. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Because so, you never listen to me. Because we were just sitting there. Case told me, at least by text, I'm not sure if it's still that, that the CPS schools did not cancel today. That's Th- crazy. Is, is that, that right, still Case? True, Case? Did you look it up? I looked on their Twitter like 10 minutes ago and they didn't have a cancellation notice. Is that how they do it now? They tweet out? Yeah. If you're canceled? That's how I get my news. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy. CPS or otherwise. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, the good old days was kind of waiting by the TV for your school to get canceled. Those are over. You remember waiting for that stupid list to, like, go back around again? Oh. Yeah, that yeah. That was the worst. They missed me, damn it. See, even when now I was... Now we just get emails. Like, my son's school just emailed us. Did they cancel out an Elgin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even when I was in high school, I would have notifications for my school district for their Twitter account because they would just tweet, like, don't come in today. Too much snow. Canceled. And then did they what? tweet like a Forrest Gump, you know, gif of him running to go to Chipotle after that. That's saying, funny. Like, they should have done that. Yeah, it's like, go get Less this kids would have dropped out had that account been funnier. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the, it's the school's fault for not being funnier. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to take accountability. No, no one does. So Carmen checked in. A parent says CPS is open. They call, email, and text now. So they send you some kind of, I guess, I assume it's a recorded call that comes to your house. Also, I don't think they're doing it one by no, one. No, yeah, they're custom calling her. <laughs> so it's actually canceled. It's just taken so long to call every student. Some parents don't know yet. Hey, is Mikey there? I right, put him on the phone. Hey, Mikey, school's canceled. All right, next. Who's next? <laughs> hey, Tony. What's going on, man? Hey, it's one of the latest school's canceled. Well, oh 847 checked in and said CPS is insane. It took me an hour and 20 uh, just to, you know... Get, drop their kid off. Yeah, drop their kid off to school because they had to do that. Obviously, they moved from 847 in the city to get to the CPS schools there, but wow. Yeah, they probably it's, should have pulled the plug. Yeah, I just... Uh, you know traffic downtown is going to be insane, too, and a lot of people take city buses. It's like, eh, I don't know, that's a good idea. Kenzie, yeah. I have a question for moms. Yep. When your kid's school gets canceled, do they have to do a virtual learning day, or is he just good to chill all day? Uh, his is canceled. Now, he's in elementary school. Maybe that virtual learning thing I could see kicking in in, like, high school or something. Yeah, because I think the the town that I grew up in in Indiana, I don't think they do uh, snow days anymore. If there's too much snow to go in, they have to attend class on their computer. Oh, God. That's that's a, that's a sucky thing that the pandemic no, but caused. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, like, okay, he had two snow days. They, they called off Tuesday, which probably ended up not being necessary, but I think they were nervous. It's, it's something with the buses because we share buses with like other school districts. So it's kind of like only one of them can be open because it's going to take a long time. <laughs> but um, so they got off Tuesday and then they got off today. And he already they've already sent updated schedule for summer because he has two days less in the summer like that fast. So you don't get like a grace period on days anymore. You don't just get a snow day. You'd get two less two less summer vacation days now. Sucks. Brian, did they have you make up snow days when you were a kid? Or never. Just, you just never, yeah. Yep. Simpler that, time. Yeah, great time. Got one less education day. Look at me. I'm, I'm fine. That really shows now, doesn't I'm, it? I'm yeah, totally clear. I mean, good Lord, would you live in a tundra, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, li- I lived in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> yeah, you must have. <laughs> two, not good. Two updates. CPS does not call them individually. They do have a robocall that hits you up. And then also, Lindsay checked in from 773. I was just going to say this one. Yeah, so good. go ahead and read it if you can see it there. Oh, she just said, it's not canceled. I'm a teacher, and it's taking me two hours to get to work. I'm still not there. School started at 8. Wow. So the kids just sit there and wait for the teacher to get there. If they even got there, they should have canceled. Come I'm on. Sure, I know. I'm sure they're just, I don't know. I wonder what grade she teaches, though. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I, I think at a certain age, it's like, okay, you can go online, do this, and this, and this. Like, if a teacher had jumped to my kid's school, they'd be, like, fighting and throwing Play-Doh, and it would just be, it would be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, everybody's pretty much saying that, the same thing on, on, on the school districts, wherever you are, that there are no snow days anymore. Just It's just remote e-learning, yeah. uh, however it works out. E-learning, or, I mean, in this case, okay, fine, he didn't have an e-learning day, but he gets less, like, summer. You know what I mean? So it's the yeah. same amount of days off. Yeah. Well, there you go. I know. It's a shame. I want to go back to the old days. We just lost that day. So we went, went whew, 
It was okay. just gone. Listen, there's going to be a time when you're going to be like, Harper's ass needs to be in school. I am slammed. And you're going to be like, fine. She gets one last day of summer. It's not going to devastate you as much. Oh, man. I not, promise you. That day is not today. I know. Uh, it's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Traffic update in a couple seconds. If you have to get out, uh, we will give you the information on the road. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. Ryan and Kenzie on Q101. So news coming out of Hollywood this morning that... Oh, fresh from Hollywood. Fresh from Hollywood. We need Jake's takes on here to talk about it. But Top Gun came out in 1986 and Top Gun 2 came out in 2022. A little bit of a gap, uh, but it was first movie, of course, greatest movie of all time. One of them in the top. I put it in the top oh, 10 of all so time. Good. Uh Top Gun Maverick came out in 2022. Side note, Megan doesn't want me saying this, but when they had the recap scenes in there of Goose dying, she started crying in the theater. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> Goose dying was horrible. Oh, my God. It was one of the worst things that ever happened. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. Oh, it was. It was really he sad. He was the one with a family. Yeah. Why would they do that? Yeah, Meg Ryan. And she's going, uh, and, and Tom in the water, they're going, oh, my God. So sweet. The oh, kids. my God. It's terrible. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a rough scene. It is. Sorry, in case, uh, case the producer hasn't seen Top Gun or Top Gun. He hasn't seen it. I don't even fully know what it's about. I know it's about planes, but I don't. Are they... all, it's just a docu-series on O'Hare. <laughs> 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 but I don't. Like, I couldn't tell you what the movie's about. That's unbelievable. What do you think it's about? Top Gun. Well, that's what I, I know. It's about planes. Okay, what about planes? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is if they're at war or if they're just practicing to go to war. Okay. If they're, like, practicing, you know, if it's, like, basketball players practice jump shots, if they're just practicing their trick shots for airplanes, like, you know, fighter pilots. Uh-huh. I don't know what it's about. I also don't know who Goose is. Is that where the phrase talk to me goose came from? Yes. I didn't know that. Have you used that phrase ever? Oh, you God, yeah. say that? <laughs> yeah. Why would you think, you think that people were just like, geese talk a lot? Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I thought it was kind of a fun thing to say. Uh-huh. But I didn't know where it came from. Wow. Yeah, Top Gun. It's it's a great balls of fire, like that piano scene. Like, if you ever see... Have you ever seen somebody, like, reenact that? I've heard the song Great Balls of Fire. But, like, like, has you ever seen somebody, like, sit at a bar and be like, da 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 Like, it's, like, that's from Top Gun to do, like, the piano scene. Is it a, it's not a musical, is it? No. No. Jesus. <laughs> Top Gun the musical, now With I'm. With Tom Cruise? <laughs> <laughs> Good oh Lord. God. Um, I don't know I, movies. Sorry. I know. It's so weird. Well, we're t- uh, uh, my you know, dad I- looks a lot Okay, so my dad in his young days looks a lot like Tom Cruise in that movie. I did a video of it once, we of like to, a side by side of their pictures, yeah. and it's like kind of weird. Can you give us that picture? Because I've seen like, your, I've seen an older picture of your dad, like now, not older, but now what he is now. Right. Wow. And yeah, they don't look similar now because my well, dad's hair is gone. Uh, and Tom Cruise doesn't age because he drinks the blood of the youth. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Well, honestly, Allegedly. <laughs> honestly, working for him, okay? Uh, good, good for you, Tommy. Tom Cruise does not. He's 61. And if you saw that movie, which, again, I did, um, the reason we're talking about this, by the way, before Kenzie finds the pictures is Top Gun 3 has been announced now. I didn't think they would do a 3. I thought they'd come back after 35 years, whatever, 37 years, make this Top Gun 2 Maverick and move on. It kicked ass. It made $1.5 It was billion. really good. It made $1.5 billion. And I went back to look up the first movie... <laughs> Had a fifteen million dollar budget. Top Gun, the first movie. What I mean, they had fighter jets in there. How the hell is that budget only that? But it made three hundred and fifty-seven million. So, it's so good. You know what I loved about the sequel of Top Gun? I was very excited for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I thought the the plot was very strong with it being like Goose's son and stuff. I thought that was very cool. And then I re- versus just like. Tom Cruise, two years later, still at war or something, right? Like, it's like, okay, fine. So that was a really, really cool premise. Um, It was very exciting because it got people back at movies. It was a movie that you wanted to see in a movie theater. Absolutely. And I really, really missed that because I, so I am a movie person. Just like Case is like, oh my gosh, this band has, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. I am like so (laughs) excited about movies. And I, I, I get like that about movies and I love ones that are so impactful that you want to go see it at a theater. And I missed that feeling. 
And it was one of those ones that I, we went back twice to see it in theaters. It was so good. Yeah. And it, it was. That was, let's see. The, the only two times, no, three times, was the Avengers final movie in the pandemic or was it before the pandemic? The end, end, Avengers Endgame. I can't, all time is messed pre, up in my head. I think it was pre pandemic. I, I saw think. that. I saw that. I saw the Jackass movie with Case. I'm That's an, the best night of my life. <laughs> and it was a blizzard, kind of like today. I was just going to say it was a blizzard night like tonight. And then I've seen Top Gun 2. You went to go see three. the Jackass movie, two. but you didn't make it to the new Top Gun. That's exactly what I'm saying. I was so <laughs> excited to go to the new Jackass movie in that big AMC theater right downtown. I got to go with my buddy Brian. I felt like his little son all night because he was buying me dinner and buying me snacks at the theater. That was the best. I loved that. It was a good night. It was a good night. Was that Jack? What was that called? Jackass 10? Jackass was- Forever. Forever. Jackass 10. I, I knew. I, I, <laughs> a stab in the dark at it. Well, I, I knew there were, I know. I know they don't have 10 movies, but for some reason I thought that was called 10. Jackass Forever was amazing. Top Gun 2, amazing. So those are the movies I've seen in the theater in the last couple of years. The Avengers Endgame, Jackass Forever, and Top Gun Maverick. Go see The Iron Claw. That is a movie for theaters. Yeah. That's is a it? Movie I don't know. What is that movie? It's it's the it's the wrestling one that with Zach Efron and Jeremy Allen White. Oh god. Where Zach okay. Efron's getting gained like what, hundred pounds? Yeah, yeah, he he turns into basically an eighties well, he doesn't basically turn into he so literally turns into an eighties wrestler. I didn't realize that is that's an in the now it is confusing when you hear about new movies also because they're not all in theaters anymore. Like, that's not a thing. So I didn't even realize the Zac Efron movie was, like, an actual release. I went to the movie theaters last week to watch it. I can't recommend it enough. You'll be crying next to a stranger by the time it's over. And that's a good oh, well, theater-going I, experience. I was hoping to sit next to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so Top Gun 3 will be in production. Now, Tom Cruise has all the Mission Impossibles. Mission Impossible 8 is set for release in 2025. So Top Gun 3 will probably be after that. Probably 2026. But that's only two years away. So, but still. I just I just wish they would have ended it because they killed it. I don't know if a third movie will be. Can they kill it again? I don't know. I've only after a movie, only a couple okay. years later. I don't know. I'm, so, I'm texting you guys in our group chat right now. Yeah. And I'm texting you a picture of my dad. And... Like from that same time, and then the picture of Tom Cruise that I feel like he looks like. Oh my God! Right? Your dad does look like Tom Cruise. Doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, you're gonna tell me that that's not similar? Is that something you'd be you, you have to check with your dad on if we wanted to post it? Oh no, I made a video about it once. That's fine. Oh okay. Yeah, you can totally, we can totally post that. I have a, like an old TikTok video I made when the movie dropped because I'm like, oh my God. Was your dad a player? Did he, like, do well with women growing no. up? No, and that's what's <laughs> funny about my dad. You can't, put, oh, you can't call him no. out like that. You know, he can't, I'm, I'm no, defending your dad, dad right now. No, no, no way. No, no, no. My dad is the most gen- – so first off, my mom is super hot, okay? And you guys can testify, like, my mom is – Oh, like, hell yeah. My mom – is like the hottest lady ever and it sucked growing up with that because it was like you're in like junior high and everything's your mom's hotter than you it was a bummer okay hey let's, My, go, over to, let's go over to kenzie's house yeah no, it <laughs> not sucked. talk to her <laughs> not to- and she gave oh my god this is what's so bad and then there was a rumor that my mom was a playboy model because she bleaches her hair Ooh. blonde and um and my dad got photos of her one time in a playboy like she get, no no <laughs> <laughs> she did a photos. She did like sexy photos in like a Bears jersey, and my dad hung them up on the wall, like in the family room, <laughs> yeah, like these proud. sexy photos. And and everybody who came over thought that she just like did that for like a magazine. So there's all these, and I'm like, oh my god, like this is my house is insane. But my dad is actually like worships worships my mom. Like he is the best best guy with that and stuff he's just like so in love and he's just like a gush ball like he is not a cheater not a player the joke is he cries at everything okay my dad is so i'm sensitive. defending your dad right here you can't no, keep calling these things a, out no but it's he's like a in man. a really he is a man like listen he can build anything he's strong he's aware of something but i'm saying he is so sweet like he could never oh. you don't even understand he was king of like 
long-term relationships. Every relationship he's been in has been long-term. Oh, boy. Not a cheater. <laughs> but, like, he's just a, I remember once he told me that Boring. he... I know. <laughs> now, my mom, my mom was super wild. Oh, that's so what my I heard. mom's yeah. I know. My mom <laughs> and dad have, like, a very reverse personality. Like, where you, like my mom, she dated a Chippendales dancer. <laughs> What? Yes. Like, my mom had this crazy life, and my dad's like, I want to be married with children. Like, so bad. That's all he wanted. I think I want to change my mind. We don't need the pictures of your dad for Facebook. And your pictures with the mom with the Bears jersey. Thank you. I didn't no. Want to ask. no. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.